Greetings, and welcome to episode 39 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Knights of St. John campaign. And this, my friends, how we left it last time, we are now the, the masters of London. We've finally captured the capital here of our mortal enemy, Britain. As you can see, we're still dealing with the remnants of the defending force, <clears throat> and it is a potent force here. If this was a full army, we would be struggling. Because even then, our army is not, not a full strength at all. Remember, we are bankrupt as well. We don't have any money coming in yet, but there possibly might be a way to rectify that. We have to take Britain. We have to capture Britain. As you can see in the north here, there is a huge complement here of well-established British forces here in Edinburgh. However, we are still waiting upon forces from America to come in and move against that Edinburgh stronghold, which is the last bastion here of Br British power. We're also moving it against Ireland as well. Still got a lot to do, my friends. We have to be wary as well of this British fleet here. We might just adjust a few things back at home, back in Malta itself. We might just adjust the port situation there, maybe putting an, an, a, a, a regiment in the port and pu pulling the fleet out of the port. Because, uh, this, this army can do a lot of damage to us, and so can this fleet here. We're not, we are not by any means ready to take on that British fleet there. We don't have the resources or indeed the ships to do that. But this is what our first goal is. Just let's fight what's in front of us, and that's a powerful task force. Your little strike force they've got here, a small task force. Swiss Grenadiers, Marines, Fusiliers as well. That's an absolute tough. If that was me, if I, was, if I said that, if that was a full army, we would be struggling there. We really would. But thankfully, we still got a, our, most of our regiments still intact. We've got plenty of cannon here to aid us. We've got a good complement as well of reinforcements here. We've got the Marines here as well, of our own Marines. I think it might be better if we have cavalry coming in here just to aid us there. I'll probably bring in the marines then as well. And then have these gentlemen coming in here after the cannon. Marines here as well, so ideally that should have been that there. Perfect. 198. And hey, presto, done. So that's our reinforcements. We've got some good. Oh, we, and the guards, some of these guard units are still at full strength, which is going to be needed for, to take on these elite forces here. And believe me, my friends, they are elite. Especially the Marines here, and indeed the Swiss Grenadiers are incredibly tough. Got good morale as well. And so are these Royal British Marines. Knock volley. If they get close to you, you're in trouble. Irish Volunteers. We've also got the blunderbuss gun, and they are brutal in the short range. But let's take this fight, sort of the last fight of in and around London. Let's take this fight. Let's do this. We are going to have to try and turn around the bankruptcy we've got at the moment. I think we might be able to do that. If we could take Britain as well, that would be a wonder. Now the topography here of the battle, we don't have a, a massive, but look at this up here. Well look at that, it's all, we've got an L-shaped formation here. Now if we were to come up onto here, onto this high ground here, we'd have the high ground. And we could move down upon them here and fire from this position here, what a wonder that would be. Maybe these are the cavalry, 176 here. Maybe these are the cavalry coming in from the trees. This is sort of the, the, the anvil, as it were. Because they've only got a very small deployment zone here. It's a very, very... I know this is the outskirts of London here, but this is a very wooded, outcropped, heavily forested area here. I don't think we can see London from here, but... It is, a, it's, it is in around here somewhere, probably in the distance over that way there, I believe, is London over that way there. But let's get our guns set up here. Now, we don't have the potent 24-pounders here. We've got the 12-pounders, but they're going to have to do... Let's 
Let's bring them under full control here. Let's set them so we've got a good line of sight here on the crest of this hill here. Look at that. Oh, good grief. That's a massive bite. Look at that. In fact, some of these will actually stand toe to toe with an, an entire regiment themselves. 180 men on four cannon. Set that up and just boom, oh, perfect. Got, got, got a quick line here. And we've also got shrapnel shot, and that should take us right into the heart of them here. Yes, indeed, sir. Hopefully, that's close enough to give them a real barrage right from the start. Now, our cavalry is definitely going to be caught. We've got a knight. Oh, look at that. Bring these gentlemen. Oh, look at 176 here, Karas. Yes, that's a wonder. Now, set the general. A general Urnok here taking the fight outside London. That's a look at that. Got them absolutely pinned here now. Now, if we're going to set up a, a small defensive force, we'll have. I think we might push out against them as well, against the British. We'll use these gentlemen here to take the fight to them, these foot guards. So I think we might also launch from the, from the, from the trees here against them. Catch them on the hop there as well. Now they should be, they should be hidden. Yes, it did. Look at that. Now that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, my friends. Nothing will look at that. What a wonder. Foot guards, the absolute one of the elite regiments we have available to us, all three of them at the moment. Also, the cavalry will also be, as I said, brought into that attacking force as well. Now the rest will be defensive. Let's put these gentlemen here, the 73rd Regiment, in the vanguard of the fence, right on the sort of the slope here. Then the 71st on the right. Seventy fourth on the left. Very we made, we made sort of a very tight area of deployment here for ourselves, but still. Seventy second on the right as well. Again, just following the lay of the land here, making sure we're fully covered here. Now that's our main. Oh, actually, the fifty seventh will come on the left. We could, we could put these gentlemen where they need to be once the deployment has ended. They'll go here. Actually, I might put them here just and wrap this around a little bit, sort of straighten these out to follow the lay of the land down here. We've got these much smaller regiments here, which I think we'll just keep in reserve. Keep these gentlemen just in reserve in the probably in the back here, as you can see, not a great deal of firepower at all here, but still it could be useful for plugging a gap should we need it. That's how brutal the fighting was in the last battle for London. It was absolutely monstrous. We've got to get these regiments re refitted and ready for action again. Actually, we'll just put them on this flank here. Not many here, but still, they'll just add, they'll add to provide a little bit more protection here. Just so we're not caught on the hop. I think that is us and ready to go. Let's begin. Now we're going to straighten out here. them completely on the hop here because they've actually set their guns to face us. They've got marines, they've got marines. Lost three there, lost three good. As soon as they get within the range of the shrapnel shot here, that's gonna really hit them hard.
That's a great shot there. Grunty is move away from them. Guards are doing a wonder. That's more like it has to get stuck in there. Let's get out, let's get out. They've gone. They're sharp, they're sharp, but they don't have that. They haven't got the stomach for it, that's.
think let's finish the gentleman off here. We don't want anybody coming back at all. We want this entire force wiped out. Let's follow them up. So heavily protected here. Look at that. If you came in from around this side, you're going to be in a lot of trouble there. Charge that. Take them down. They've shattered. They've gone. They've had enough. That was a victory and a half. Two cavalry regiments, three regiments of guards, and we've taken out this entire British force. Done. Yes, decisive victory, of course, sir. Look at that, we lost 200, they lost almost everything. Uomini, avanti! Time to remove them entirely. We're going to keep these gentlemen in good order here. Non è possibile, signore. Look at our spy up here. So we're going to just double check. We've got, look at that, look at that fort. Look at that navy there. That is, that's a large navy. Let's keep an eye on what's going on up here. Segretezza è il mio nome. Sempre vigile. Non è il mio fort. Now we've got Dublin under siege, we're going to hit Dublin hard here, look at that, but they've got a formidable force, but no cannon. No cannon at all. We don't have the, we don't have the best of cannon, but that's the force I'd like to take them with. It's that force here, because that would just break anything in its path. I mean, we don't have any... We don't have any cover here, but they've got this force here, lots of cavalry. We might just take this for this this battle once we've got this army into place here because this is the army to deal with them in, in all in truth be told. Now this is under our control here. We've got London under our control, thank goodness. We are going to slightly adjust our as I said before here in Malta. We're going to pull the fleet out here. I know some of you might be balking at this. We're going to put a regiment into the port. Just to be sure here, because you can see we've still got tree coming in here, but it's from here. But I've got a feeling that the, probably the Ottomans will deal with this Russian ship once the Russian ship has been dealt with. Now, our main sort of priority here is to try and hold what's going on here as well. As you can see, we've got forces here, but they are starting to lose men here because, of course, we are be we are for the sense of purpose is bankrupt. We've also raised our attack. We haven't raised our tax levels up here. We're trying to keep the tax levels up here, but if we to do that, it just reduces it down to that. And look at that. All of this part of India here is and uh, is not at best pleased to say the to say the least. Even then it's still red here, but they're not happy with us down here at all in our cot. Might just raise our tax levels just a little bit here to take to see to take some of the sting out of it, but Spain needs to repair, repair its trade node, or trade port here. And also the Dutch need to take care of things there as well. Thank you, we've got an ally here, but the Dutch are just absolutely monstrous here. I wonder if they'll move against us pretty soon. Probably want to try and take this city here for themselves. I wonder. Do we move in against the city here? Because that's a full that's a full strength army, but listen, I got a lot of pikemen. We do have generals bodyguards with three which is a bit unusual to say the least. We do have plenty of men here as well. We've got the cannon, we've got the guns as well. I think we might just I think we might strike for Dublin. There'll be an open battle as well. We've got plenty of reinforcements. And your reinforcements here, plenty of cavalry reinforcements as well, and all the cavalry's at full strength. The Crassiers quickly aren't, but aren't, aren't leaving the force because they're not getting paid because they're obviously morale is and their loyalty is much, much higher. That's an absolute boon, sir. And here as well, I think we have the cavalry coming in. The cavalry is what's going to do the most damage. 
to be honest, this army, I doubt this army will be used, so it doesn't really matter how this army will come in in terms of what comes in, because we've got plenty of troops here, we've got more than enough, mind you, they've got, they've got, they've got all these, dragging everything in here, we've got to take this fight, do they have any, ca ca can got no cannons, oh, but look at how many cavalry they've got, huge amount, let's take this fight, we've got to try and wrestle these cities away from the British as quickly as possible, we have to hunker down here because we're going to have reinforcements coming in directly here. But luckily, we've got our own here. Plenty of cavalry here. Let's take the fight. Let's assault Dublin. Bring in draw control. Wrestle it from the British. Let's do this, sir. Taking the fight here, the Brit. What a wonder! We shall not flinch from what our duty is, sir. Now, it's dusk here as well. Oh, look at that up here! Now, if that was a little bit, wasn't such a steep here. Oh gosh, the town here as well is going to be awkward because we we'd be fighting directly into a town here. Look at that, that's an absolute monster here. Oh, there's Dublin, there's Dublin there in the distance. There it is there. So this is, must be a, a village on the outskirts here. We, we can't fight into this, no chance. We've got to, we've got to use the flanks here. Otherwise we're going to get bogged down in fighting. What we'll do is we'll use our mobility here to try and draw them, cipher them, filter them into the middle here if possible. And then use our our troops here to try and batter them down if possible. Now, we've got General Zavosky here. So to that end, I think we will look to bring our cannon. to play here quite early on. But just to bring so we also have that fire discipline here. We'll put that shrapnel shot. And also quick lime as well, which is an absolute monster. And look how slug fire stretches here. What about well, that's not as far, we'll put round shot for the moment then to give us that extra depth here, but as soon as they get close, if they move out against us now we've got to set up our defensive formation here because we've got reinforcements coming in, remember, so that we've, got, we've got to be ready for them um, we do have two experienced militia units here, so we can't count, count them out at all let's put the 53rd regiment in the vanguard of the defence here this won't be an easy battle either 62nd Regiment here. We're going to use the cavalry to our advantage if possible. We've got the 61st here, which will go on the left. They've got no cannon, so we're at the advantage. We've got the fire support. 63rd here. Again on the left. Gentlemen, please. And the 64th. We've got plenty in reserve here. But I think for the amount of forces that are coming in, I'd like to try and keep some back in reserve if possible. We'll have the 52nd here as well. We can always adjust our lines depending on what comes at us. We're sort of, we are at the moment, really are fighting on a shoestring. Now we've got these Carassiers here. Household guard, horse guards, so they would, ah, they're horse guards. They're a step up from the Crassiers. These are the elite. This army really does pack a punch here. And I think we'll have two more regiments on the other side as well. On the right hand side. Which are already there. Now we can't, we don't go too far up the slope here, but we want to use them. That's a wonder. We've got militia. I think we'll have the 54th on the left, on the right here. I beg your pardon. 
And we'll keep these gentlemen in reserve. We've got, actually, that's a pretty healthy reserve we've got here. Which we can keep here, ready for the fight. Let's take them off fire at will, just in case we don't want that. Let's give them a little bit of distance between themselves, we don't want that. Now we've actually, this is a very, very decent defensive line and also some reserves just in case we've also got that fire support not, not the depth we'd like the other army does have more but this should this should serve us well we oh dear me that's more like it and oh more like it. It'll ha oh. We'll just set them back. I think we'll just be, it'd be better if we just set them back a fraction here. We don't want we don't them to hit in the trees here. It'll do until damage. Now, let's begin. Gosh, that's a lot of forces here. That's a lot of forces. Swiss guards. They've got a lot of men available to them here. They've got nothing that can hurt us now of long range. So we're going to use the flanks to our advantage here. We're going to hopefully try and push them down through the middle if possible. Oh, look at that already! Firing here. Wonder. Looks like they can move against us. They can move against us. Oh, that's a beautiful shot there, sir. Control is going to be absolute paramount here. I'm going to try and hit this really hard here. We might move the 55th regiment into this flank here because that's a lot on this on this left flank here.
Here they come, they're almost within range here. We can get a shot down there. Oh, we're going to try and break this here. Mine's going to crumble here.
well we're going to get a smash here on island unless we're really careful Absolutely throw that's well my god you can crash there. straight through that lot then, broken. Brilliant. One mailed fist here. One mailed fist, move the gentleman, move. Don't just stroll. Oh, they're gone. Are oh, they breaking? Oh, they're, they're buckling here. Oh, my goodness me, this has been a tough fight. This has been a tougher fight than this than it was for for London.
We're just gonna, we're gonna clear everything up here with this cavalry. Everything, sir. Nothing is going to survive this. We're going to shatter everything with this cavalry. Fight this has been this has been a, a monstrous fight. Oh, well, they won't come for this lot here, they will they? Let's set this set the lines properly, here, lads. Got lots of reinforcements coming in here. Facing here. Are oh, they coming for us here? Looks like they want to come for us here. Let's see what you're made of. Let's see what you're made of, sir. We don't want to move into that lot. Patience, my friends. Patience is key here.
much more like it, much more like it. Look at all these reinforcements coming in here. Where the blazes are you going? We accept the challenge, sir. We accept your challenge. Oh, they're just throwing everything at us now. They're throwing everything at us now. So you hammered here. My goodness me. It's gonna be close quarter, it's gonna be close quarter. Hold this off. They've just thrown everything but the kitchen sink at us here. Just 
fire into the crowd. Fire into the crowd. This Swiss line infantry is absolutely just thrashing us here. overwhelmed us with sheer might here. You just cannot answer this type of might here, you just can't. The last of the guys here. It's just been untold casualties. This is our last of the days here. Bumbled into that day, my oh, goodness me. These pikemen are actually killing us here. Engage the pikemen. Engage the pikemen. Oh, 
good. Come on, lads. Come on, you've got to turn the tide here on this left flank. Yeah, my goodness me. Don't give them any leeway here at all. They're shattered at last. We've got them. Break them, you know, got to break them. By the skin of our teeth, have we done this? My goodness me, they've thrown everything for the kitchen sinkers here. Goodness me, what a fight that was. I mean, look at it. It's been absolutely... This has been hell, my goodness me. Wow. How many troops did that cost us? I dread to think. 3,000. They've got to think that we've destroyed 5,000. That's the entirety of their camp. My goodness me. The crassy ears did their company. The company. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. Oh, it is ours. <sighs> wow, that was just absolute insanity. That is insane. My goodness me, what a fight that was, my friends. We finally brought Ireland under our control at last. And 1,492 is all we've got. Can we now add, uh, just increase these taxes? And we're almost there. Nine. Huh. We are back into the... 
What a fight, my goodness me. That has to be one of the most difficult f battles we fought in a very, very long time. Those pikemen were just brutes. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here on that one victory note that we've managed to secure there. That one good piece of news in terms of the battle there. We just by the skin of our teeth managed to push that battle through there, my goodness me. I dread to think what the Battle of Edinburgh is going to be like. Look at that. I mean, the forces around Edinburgh are even tougher than we just fought in Ireland. And that's, oh my goodness me, they've even got the Highlanders here as well, my goodness. That is going to be a brutish fight. But if we can take Edinburgh with the reinforcements that are coming in from the Atlantic, then we might, just might have a chance of capturing Britain and finally bringing Britain to our control and rebuilding our empire, which has taken a real beating of late. Hopefully, hopefully the Ottomans can get rid of this and the Spanish can repair this trade line here. We've got a good amount of trade coming in, 88,000 here. We've managed to sort of bring this here just in case. Hopefully Spain will move this ship here and it'll de deal with the Russian fleet here, which it should do because it's only a sloop of war. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, my friends, if you have, please keep your comments coming down below. Thank you for all for your wonderful support. It's been absolutely fantastic. Whatever you do, my friends, please be safe. But until next time, bye for now.